Hey guys, what's up? My name is Caleb King. I'm a software developer. And for this episode, will you still hire me when I'm 50? Let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, leave a review on the podcast, enter our $25 Amazon gift card. I need that money. And as we get closer to the holidays, we'll have some better gifts. So just do that for me. Thanks. So I've been programming for a little while. Uh, by no means am I a brand new developer, but I'm also not anywhere close to 50. I wanna say I'm right in the middle. And if you're a programmer, maybe you've been doing it for a few years, maybe you're brand new, but I'm sure the thought has come to your mind, like where am I gonna be 10 years, 15 years, 20 years down the road? The reason I wanted to make this episode is for the longest time, developers only had like a certain path, junior, mid, senior, maybe an architect, which is a different role depending on where you are, and then ultimately pushed into management. Now don't worry, you're not alone if you've had some of these thoughts. Traditionally, programmers have been looked upon as an industry for young graduates. The average age of a programmer is around 32 years old, and the vision of a 55-year-old or older is this something we rarely see, if ever. Most people I know, like usually around that late 30s, early 40s mark, they either get out of coding either by choice or they get pushed out or they simply just get like thrown into management for whatever reason. So when it comes to job hunting, a common concern is not having enough experience. But in tech, it's actually funny because it seems like people who are like the gateway holders, they worry you have too much experience. What in the Sorry, those things really, really upset me. Experience comes with age, and age is proving to be an issue for tech careers. As many as 68% of baby boomers don't even apply for tech jobs because they fear of being too old. Meanwhile, the average age of a software developer in an organization is around 32, 33. And I'm around that age, and trust me, at that age, you don't have anything figured out. Even if you think you do, I promise you, you don't. So here's the problem. Ageism is the elephant in the tech room. As programmers progress, their years of experience increasingly become like a poison chalice. If the stats are anything to go by, the problem is even more entrenched than you might have thought. So the not so invisible age barrier. Let's talk about it. According to a Stack Overflow developer survey, 61% of developers over 45 are concerned that their age is limiting their career options. And the concern is not unfounded. I mean, like I said, most people that I know that are over 45 are rarely coding day to day. I mean, even if you're a great coder, what seems to happen, like I've seen people get promoted to like VP of engineering, CTO, depending on the size of the organization, where they were great developers and they just, hey, I know, I know, I know, hey, we need you to manage everything. These stats are really, really telling y'all because they suggest that by the time a developer reaches their mid forties, they're likely to face career worries. Perhaps they fear job security, Maybe they found it increasingly difficult to land a new position. Either way, the numbers show that developers really fight with this age barrier thing, and they really shouldn't. And what I also say is this isn't everywhere. A lot of organizations have finally created a culture, and usually these are like these large tech companies, where it's like, hey, we want you to be a developer. We don't need you to move in anywhere else. We want you to be good at coding. And when you think of like places like Google, they literally have like the E1 all the way to E6, distinguished engineer. They have all the titles simply because they realize some people just want to code. They don't want to manage people. They don't want to manage products. They don't want to manage a team, lead a team. They just like to code. So they set up that environment. However, that is to me more like diamond in the rough than like the commonality. So why is this happening? Clearly, it's a poorly kept secret that the tech industry favors younger team members, but when did experience become a bad thing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. One of the more obvious factors is money. In general, older developers, especially people with experience, they wanna get paid. Hey, look, I'm not gonna be working for 50K, working 60 hours a week. I want to be paid respectfully. They know their skills, they know their worth, like my boy Drake says, know your worth. And they're not likely to settle. They usually have kind of, hopefully, if, you, if you're smart with your money, they have a little bit of like, I call it the FU fund, where you have enough money where you can either say, hey, if the job is not treating me right, or if I'm applying for a job and I don't really care for it, they got enough money in the bag to be like, I don't need this, I can move on. However, the preference is in younger developers because they're cheaper, they're hungry. You know, they wanna come in, make an impact. Everybody wants to be the next big thing. Hopefully, as long as you, you can be the next big thing, but you know, they really use that against the younger generation. I've literally seen it myself. When I worked at one of my organizations, first time I even told anybody this. I remember 
when I first started at one company, all the young developers felt like we were friends. We would talk to each other, we would get lunch. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Hey, yeah, I'm talking about Node, talking about Java, talking about tech. And like the second management put certain people on certain projects, it became very clicky. It was like, oh, I'm on this team and we actually know how to code. That team, they write BS code. They don't know what they're talking. And I was just like, holy crap, we're all too dumb to realize that we are pieces all part of the squid game puzzle. <laughs> and for me, I was really sitting there thinking to myself like, what the hell is going on? How are we pit against each other when like a month ago we were all friends? So we gotta talk about it. Innovation versus experience. Technology is feature focus. It evolves and it changes with every passing day. A drive for innovation has everyone looking for the future. Even look at crypto, right? Everybody's talking about blockchain, crypto, web 3.0. Very little is the same as it was a decade ago. With so much changing, so much emphasis placed on tech infused future, looking back seems redundant. And that's exactly what experience does. It looks back. As a result, years of experience in tech isn't always perceived to be super valuable. Oh, you know, Microsoft Office 2013, it's 2021, get with the times. Employers wrongly assume that experience implied a stagnated skill set or outdated expectations like they just look at older people like uh you know we're doing all this latest and greatest stuff and you don't look like you're a latest and greatest type person and that's just wrong things are a little bit more disruptive in tech of course but if you've been working in let's say 10 years on a legacy code base it doesn't automatically follow that you just can't leap straight into a programming role or a more modern product. Usually, like people say, the cliche, hire smart people, get out their way. But it's amazing how it seems like companies hire smart people, let them do some stuff. And then when you're talking about skill sets and things, it doesn't really go anywhere. So recruiters looking on programmer experience with a devaluing eye may be leading to discrimination. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't. This is just my thoughts, my opinions. But they scan application for buzzwords trending new languages and it's not always recognizing the worth the years of experience the time you put in to actually get to where you are their view of the future looks for flexibility not a developer stuck in their ways or hardened by years of experience now to be devil's advocate it is true i've worked with some people who've been doing it for a long time and they are <laughs> They can be hard to work with simply because they are stuck in their ways. But I promise you, that's not always the case. So let's talk about stereotypes and complacency. The view of the future feeds into typecast. While young people are often referred to as the future, the stereotype of a tech illiterate older person pervades. It assumes that because someone's older, they can't possibly know modern tech, right? I mean, it's just crazy to even think about that wrong. It's a classic fallacy. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Combine this stereotype with reduced value of experience and you find another contributing factor against ageism in tech. The concern of complacency. Programmers need to be constantly learning. Skill can quickly become outdated or redundant. I remember hopping on a team like, oh, I know React, I know Java. And by the time I was leading this team, small agile team, I just remember like in a year end, React came out with hooks. We stopped really using the class way of using React. And I just remember thinking to myself, damn it, dude, like I'm kind of, I'm outdated. And it's only been 18 months. I'm in danger. So unfortunately, this pace, once again, paves a way for ageism. When developers are in a game for so long, the assumption is that they become complacent. They might have lost the passion they once held, they fall behind in times and languages, or you always hear this with like Java and PHP developers. They only know Java and PHP and they look at everything else like it's stupid. Or I've worked with some older people who are very strong Java developers and they still look at other languages how they were when they started. They're like, JavaScript is stupid. When it's like most people have moved on from like JavaScript in like 2008 and realized like JavaScript in 2021 is actually really, really cool. So let's talk about the problem for developers. The rampant ageism and technology industry causes several problems for both young and old. Old developers face concerns about stability of roles they're in because when you're older, you know, you're looking for retirement, you're looking for your 401k. And this can lead to a heightened stress or even imposter syndrome. You might be in your 40s and you're like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Ageism in tech also makes competing for new jobs an uphill struggle for older developers. The result is a generation of developers facing a forced exit from their career. And it isn't any better for young developers. Ageism in tech has also created an unhealthy attitude towards new young developers. Cause anybody who's watched Silicon Valley, like we all kind of see, like if you've ever watched that show, but let me just summarize this real quick. It seemed like companies, especially Silicon, you know, Silicon Valley companies, they would, the, the strategy was, let's get some really young kids, burn them out, 
get rid of them, replace them. I literally saw this. I worked at a very awesome company at one point and I just remember, like I said earlier, friends with a whole bunch of young kids. I wasn't that great a developer back then. I remember I got offered like this one opportunity. I'm like, that sounds like some BS. And they offered it to the next young kid and he like this ran with it. But I also remember them working 16, 17 hours. But they thought they were convinced that was cool. That's what they were making a difference. They thought that was the thing. So in this case, ageism in tech means more than it's older developers struggling to put food on a table. It also means younger developers are being treated like consumables. This is not to mention the fact that new programmers entering the industry have less guidance because think about it, older developers are getting pushed out, younger developers are trying to establish themselves and new, brand new developers are like, who do I even talk to if I have a question about Git? Cause I don't know Git. So let's wrap this one up. What can older developers do? So let me just first say age neutralize your resume. Whether you're old or young, never be discouraged to stop learning. And remember, performance proves value. This is why tech is great because you got the skills and they clearly see you got the skills and you're 20, you should be a senior. If you're performing at a senior level, you should push for it. If you're older and you got the skills and you feel like you deserve certain pay, you're doing certain things, let them know that. There is a benefit of age diversity. Ageism in tech isn't a problem that affects only candidates and employees. It's damaging the businesses that fall foul. I mean, they miss out. The benefit of age diversity, there's so many things that it can bring. For example, older developers offer insight from experience. The time in the industry typically makes them better suited for senior roles. Older developers may also be better equipped to handle legacy code because reality is not everything is brand new started from scratch. There are some things that are still being run by legacy code bases. Younger developers, meanwhile, give fresh insight and are often more energetic. They bring a new outlook to an old problem, making them great catalysts for finding new solutions. So advice to tech businesses and recruiters. Don't discredit anybody. Don't discredit an applicant because they have more experience. Experience isn't everything. The tech stack isn't everything. The interview isn't everything. You want to evaluate these people as a whole, which is a much deeper, longer episode than this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I wanted to keep this one relatively short. I'm trying my best, of course. If you have any questions, if you want a part two, because ageism in tech is a problem. And like I said earlier, it's a problem on both spectrums. But that's all I got for you guys. For now, make sure to check us out, peopleintech.io. I might write a blog about this specific topic if you want to hear more. That's all I got for you. I'm out. Peace.